Hello, I'm Richard Bray, leader of UKIP. Uh, I'm here at Parliament on the 3rd of September and um, it's, it's an exciting day. Lots of people are protesting because they're worried that we're finally going to get actual Brexit, the Brexit that we voted for. Um, it looks like uh, Dominic Cummings on Boris's team is actually exploring avenues to really deliver it and that could happen. We might have a general election uh, if we do. Uh, I hope that what will be in the manifesto and on the cards is really leaving, not doing some terrible deal where we actually stay within the jurisdiction of the European Courts of Justice or where we keep uh, allowing uh, uh, European Union countries to use our fisheries and fishing waters. We need to have real Brexit where we actually leave. We're out of the single market, out of the customs union, out from under the European Courts of Justice and we return to proper British independence, making no payments to the EU just to exist. We shouldn't be paying an EU jizya. So that's the hope. Uh, we don't know if it's going to happen. It could be that Parliament will obstruct it today or attempt to. I've seen uh, a bill that they're trying to push through Parliament today, which gives the European Union the power to delay Brexit forever. Uh, how a bill like that can be going through Parliament today, I just don't know. It is absolutely shocking. It really is a disgraceful Parliament, a rogue Parliament, and it should be shut down until we leave the European Union, at which point it will be returned to the position it should be where people in this country elect their MPs and the MPs make the laws and nobody else above them has the power to do so. That's what we want to return to. We've campaigned for 27 years to get this far and I've got my fingers crossed that we'll see real Brexit delivered soon and it's going to be Y2K2 I think. Uh, life will go on, things in Britain will be great, people will carry on working and it will all, all be fine. No, no, I don't agree with you. You don't sound very working class to me madam. Yeah, she's, she's a, a big virtue signaller and uh, she wants to bathe in the, bathe in, in the glory uh, of, uh, of her own uh, middle class Marxist ideas. She's but triggered, fact, triggered now, yeah, she's coming back here. But in fact, but, but in, fact uh, in fact, when it came to the Leave vote, it was the people whose wages have been depressed by mass immigration, uh, it was the people whose jobs have been depressed by the EU's terrible moribund attitude to running EU, uh, EU economies, uh, national economies. So it was those people that voted to leave because their instincts were right, that they would be economically better off if Britain was allowed to thrive outside the EU. That's what Juncker and Barnier are so worried about, is that the UK will thrive. And that's why they've spoken of the worry that the UK could have an unfair advantage if it left. You bet it's an unfair advantage. We won't be held back by the EU. It's regulation, it's over-regulation, and the, the uh, effects it's having on, on the economies in Spain, Italy, Greece, and so on, where you see very high youth unemployment and a disastrous economy. So let's leave, let's thrive, and let's show the EU nations, the EU countries, that there is a better life outside this Soviet-style trade bloc. Thank That's you very it. much, Richard. Thanks a lot, David. Thank you. This robo <laughs> uh, are you are you currently on any medication <laughs> no <laughs> you should be <laughs> over the past 40 years people have seen how the eu has changed we, we joined the common market we were told we were lied to then we were told we would join the common market it turned out to be a bit more than a common market it turned out to be the european union which is due to be the united states of europe no it's you know so it is we, we've seen we've seen this with with presidents of of, of the european it's union not, everyone has a power the countries all have a veto over that. so it's are you are you saying that there's been no no presidents such as john Carr and whatnot have, have come out and said that they want the united states of europe is that what you're saying because you're going to look rather that's stupid that's on video because you know they have and they, they're calling for a united United States of Europe. Right. No. So you believe there should be a United States of Europe? Yep. And why, why, why do you think there should be a United States of Europe? Because we need to be able to tra uh, trade and compete successfully with the United States of America, China and India. And we can only do that by being part of the United States of Europe? By being part of a big block. Otherwise, we're that wasn't a question, sir. We can only do that if we're part of the United States of Europe. Is that what you're saying? Uh, we can't do that independently as a country, like other countries in the world that are outside the European yes. Union. That's my take. That's what you believe, yeah? yeah? So any state that has voted against the European Union has either been ignored or made to vote again. Does that sound democratic to you? Possibly not. So it's an undemocratic organisation, we can agree on that, but you feel that we should remain in an undemocratic organisation, sir? I feel 
he didn't seem to be a big fan of Donald Trump. So how would you feel if someone like Donald Trump was running the European Union and you couldn't get out? Oh, I don't know, I wouldn't. Well, well you don't know, sir. That's a song. Where did you go? Oh, he's going to try to the police now. Oh, that's your Bye, bye. Bye, bye. You mug. You're a ball patch, Steve. You're showing your true colours, you dirty fascist racist. You call me scum. Come on, go! Yeah, was a you are right, Steve. Right. Lost your hat. Did you, did you catch that on camera? No, no, I didn't, unfortunately. I wish I did. Johnson is a liar. Stop the game. Stop the game. Joining me today is William, a political analyst. Over to you, William. Thank you very much. Okay, so you'll see to my left and to your right um, some odds, basically. Whether we leave with or without a deal, whether we leave before or after the 31st of October. So let's be very clear about this. Yes is a six to four shot, and that's for us leaving without a deal. That means basically, if you want to back us to leave without a deal, you have to put four pounds on to get six back. You'll see that us leaving with a deal is actually shorter. That's because of the Ben Amendment, which is going in front of Parliament this evening. So that's two to one on. Basically, you put two pounds on, you get one back. Our calculus has changed. We basically think that this bill that Hillary Benn is putting probably is going to have the numbers to win. That probably is going to bind this parliament into not leaving without a deal. But remember, one parliament can't bind another. So we'll have a general election, most likely, and then this could all change all over again. Everyone I see wants to get on with it and leave. 